Hi, my name is Christine. I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'm going to make a couple of cards using the Merry Moose um, bundle. So it is the stamp set, which is awesome. It's got these two really pretty trees, um, some gifts. I really like the sentiments in this one too. Happiest of holidays, enjoy the stillness of the season, have a cozy Christmas. And my absolute favorite is Merry Christmas. It's got the solid moose. You can put a scarf on him, a hat, um, and this cute little raccoon on a log. And then it comes with the moose punch, um, which is awesome. And I will be showing that to you as well. So the first card I'm also pairing with the Buffalo Check background stamp, um, which I love, especially stamped on, on red for the holidays. It's just gorgeous. And I find the two kind of together make for a really rustic feel, which is exactly what I'm going for. So I'm just going to set these aside. And we'll get started. So um, because I really like the rustic feel for the holidays, for this stamp set anyway, um, I'm using the um, Crumb Cake cardstock, which is like a craft cardstock. So this is the um, background stamp that I, I did, the Buffalo Check on red with the black ink. So it's just, I don't know, I find it looks really festive and traditional. So I'm gonna be putting that in the center. And then I've used my rectangle stitch dies to um, cut out this black, black rectangle. So I'm going to get started. So I've got my punch. And I want to put my moose near the top of this. See how far I can get it down. Uh-oh. I wanted to put him near the top, but I think he's going to end up kind of more in the center. That's okay, we'll work with what we get. So. It's easy when cutting out cards, like just plain cardstock, because you don't have to worry about the placement of your, of your um, die. Sorry, of your punch. So here's my moose. I'm gonna set him aside and I'm gonna use him on the other card we're making. So now we've got our stitched rectangle moose. I'm just making sure I've got him on the right side. So I was originally hoping to have him a little closer to the top, so I'm just gonna, gonna rejig my card a little bit on the fly. I think we'll just position that a little higher than I intended. There we go. Um, so I want this to kind of stick out a little more, um, even though it looks quite nice on the background, I find. So I'm going to use um, the Dimensionals double-sided foam to stick that up. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals come in black as well. So it's a combo pack of the regular sized ones and the minis. So if you're doing black cardstock for any reason, they're really nice to use. So you don't have to worry about them showing through anywhere. put one more down here because it's quite an open space below and actually before I stick that down I'm going to start by putting my background down so I'm going to use my liquid glue for that and I like to use liquid glue to put my backgrounds down to um, allow for a little bit of movement Make sure I've got it centered and whereas I find the, the tear tape um, or other tapes, once they're down, they're down. So <laughs> I like to have a little freedom to move things around a bit. All right, so that's centered. Then we'll put our little moose down. So I like using the negative pieces when I do... Um, when I use a punch as well, or even a die cut, um, you're often left with a negative piece that you can use. And since I hate to waste anything, I like to use those too. So you can see these dimensionals are completely black foam through and through. Now I do not have the luxury to move this around when it's down, so make sure I get the alignment right. Okay. So the sentiment I want to use for this card is happiest of holidays. So I'm just going to put the stamp to my block 
and I'm going to keep using the black ink with this. And I'm just stamping that on a piece of cardstock of the, um, the crumb cake. There we go. Um, there's my... All right. So I'm going to put the top back on the stamp case so that I don't stick my fingers in there or anything else. <laughs> Put our stamp back. Now, I'm just gonna use my snips to cut this. And then I will show you a trick that I do to get um, a nice kind of banner effect on the cut. I often use my paper cutter to do this part because I, I'm always afraid I won't get it quite straight, but I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do a banner end on the end, and I want to make sure that I kind of have it fairly centered. So I'm just doing this by eye, but you can measure it as well. So I'm just putting a dot where I want my banner to kind of where the, the inside is, if you will. So I'm just going to trim from the center going towards that dot, sorry, from the corner going to the dot. And then I'll flip it over and cut from the other corner going to the same point. And there we go. And there's a tiny little bit of pencil mark showing still, so I'm just gonna use my eraser and get rid of that. And I wanna put that, I'm gonna put it up here, so I've got more kind of white space up there. And I also want to add a bow using this gorgeous um, braided linen trim. It is super fun to uh, to use. So you can see here, I'm just doing a simple bow and so as not to use more trim than I need, I'm doing the bow without cutting it and I will cut it afterward once I have my bow done. And that way you're only cutting off as much as you need. All right, that looks good. I'm just going to use my fabric scissors to cut that. And I'm going to show you why I love this ribbon so much, especially pairing it with this rustic card. So because it's braided, if you just pull the ends a bit, see it kind of frays? And I don't know, not everybody will like this look, but I really like it. I just have to decide if I... Um, if I have too much here, I might have to shorten these ends. See what it looks like on the card. There we go. Yeah, this end's too long. So I'm just going to shorten that one a little bit more. And do some more fraying. You can kind of pull the threads out individually and really have it be kind of strings almost. It's a really fun ribbon. And what you can also do um, is with the bow itself, check this out, this is awesome. I'm just gonna pull it apart a bit. You see it gets wider. I hope you can see that on the video. It kind of almost looks like a net. And I'm just gonna put this on my card with a glue dot. There we go. So I'm just gonna stick my ribbon on the glue dot. Oop. Give that a hard press. And then it pulls off nicely. Oh, I should probably put my sentiment down as well. Goodness, I'm skipping all these steps tonight. Okay, so I'm just going to use my liquid glue to put my sentiment down. Um, you could also raise this up with dimensionals if you wanted to. Um, but I, I try not to have too many thick layers to my cards so that I can easily mail them, especially 
Christmas cards. So we've got the banner sticking off a little. And I'm just going to put the bow in the, in the back over here. And I notice I've got just a little bit of glue dot sticking up, so I'm just going to push that in with my snips. And there we go. So that is the card that I made with the negative of the punch. I'm just going to use my bone folder to make that fold nice and crisp. So there we go. Happiest of holidays. So it's a fairly simple, rustic looking card, um, which I really enjoy. So to use my, my um, black mousse, I'm going to do another simple card. I'm going to be using the different stamps in the set. So I love the way the tree looks. Um, and there's two sizes of it, which is nice. So I'm actually doing, well, kind of like a black and white card, except it's black and, uh, and crumb cake cardstock. So I'm going to use, I'm going to move those. <laughs> Bit of a messy crafter at times. All right, so. So this will give me a nice crisp image. <clears throat> but then to add a little bit of depth to it, I'm just gonna stamp again without putting my stamp in the ink. You can see it kind of makes it look like that tree's a little bit further back. And I'll do the same over here. And then I'll do the same, well, no, I'll do, uh, I'll do, I'll use the smaller tree as well. So here he is. So I really like the, the detailing in this tree. It's, it's fairly, fairly realistic, but yet yeah, still kind of, kind of cartoony. Um, you know what? I don't want, we're going to put him off in the distance too. So I just stamped off so that he's not going to be too um, too bright. I want it to look like he's off in the distance. There we go. So it looks a bit more like a forest. <clears throat> so that's just a simple stamping off trick that you can do to to make a bit of a forest effect to your cards. You can do that with any kind of pine tree stamp. And I'm gonna use the Happiest of Holidays again for my sentiment for this one. So again, as I mentioned, this is just a very, very simple stamp, uh, simple card. And I'm just using black ink and my black cardstock mousse. Um, so I'll put this one back. And let's see what our moose looks like now. So you'll see how I kind of made it, made these trees lighter because that's where I want to put my moose. And if I put him in front of this tree, I find he doesn't stand out as much, right? Because he's so dark. So by putting him over here, he really kind of pops up from the card. And I'm also going to use dimensionals to put him down. Um, so the stamp set also has um, tracks in the snow. So I'm going to put those to use as well. So again, I was just placing this down to get kind of a, an idea of where to put these tracks. So I think this is a good spot. And since I'll have been walking a little ways, we'll put more over there. And again, stamped off so that they're lighter because they're further away. So we'll put the stamp away and we'll put our moose down. <clears throat> uh, while I'm not using my ink, I'll put that back down. So because the moose is smaller, I'm going to use the mini dimensionals for him. You can also use full size dimensionals and just cut them down, but because I've got the two sizes, I'll use them. 
and I can't tell you how many hundreds are in a pack, but they're quite small, <laughs> so there's a lot. I really like using these. I really only use them around the holidays, but uh, they're handy. Okay. <clears throat> so just like regular dimensionals, just peel off the, the back. I press them down hard enough to my cardstock. There we go. So, I'll just put him there. And I think that's going to be our card. Sorry, I was looking for my bone folder there. <laughs> I have a habit of losing it. <clears throat> so there's also a nice star stamp here, which we could use. I think I will. I'll add a few stars in the sky. So I'll just take the... And there's also um, a little bit of snow here that we could use. But uh, I don't want to go crazy. I'll maybe put one over here. <clears throat> and one way up top. There, just to add a little something to the top. So those were the cards I wanted to introduce you to this awesome bundle um, with. So the fact that it's a bundle means that it's 10% off if the um, punch and the stamp set are bought together. Um, if you're interested in doing so, please contact me and uh, I hope you enjoyed these cards. Thanks.